another week, another dollar. This week was a very slow week, though. Uh, as you can see by what I got open here, other than these last three things were, uh, other than the last three things were sales. So, as you can see, very slow week. Uh, uh a lot of a good part, uh, part of that reason is because I didn't have really good inventory to list. And I am out of things to list now. Uh, so, we're in a bit of a pickle at the moment. And actually, not all of these are patches either. There's a couple other things in here. Uh, some of my other finds that sold, which I'll get into when we, uh, when we get to them. So, starting off with this Mount Juliet Fire Department, uh, Paramedic, six ninety nine on that one. Uh, Lafayette, Tennessee Fire Department, uh, three ninety nine. This one, if you look back at the start time, October 18th, 2021, this was something that should have been pulled uh, and put in with old stock back when I went through, was going through and ending things that had been coming up on a year. This should have been pulled. It wasn't. Uh, I don't, I have no idea where this is because the envelope uh, that it was in, all that, uh, I, can, I can see in my spreadsheet, uh, the the lot that this was in, all the other stuff from it is in old stock. So I have no idea where this is. Uh, I don't know if it was stuck in the envelope and got thrown away. Because you figure that was months ago now at this point. Uh, I have absolutely no idea where it went. Luckily, there is another seller that sells these. And it's the exact same thing. And he's in Long Island, so it's not too far from me. From me. Uh, I, ordered, I waited the full three days before I marked it as shipped. And then I... Immediate, I ordered this right away, pretty much, because after I wasn't gonna sit there and go through every single envelope for three ninety nine. I just figured it's it's gone. It got it's another one that got lost at some point. So luckily that there's another seller on there. I didn't have to cancel the order. I just bought it from them. It came in today. I'm gonna send it. It'll be sent out in tomorrow's mail. Uh and it did get here pretty quick. It's been three days since I had the three days to market it shipped. That was the twentieth. When I marked it as shipped, it's, you know, obviously the 23rd now. It's here. I'll send it out back out tomorrow. So, about a week. Hopefully, this buyer's not someone who's, like, super on top of, who's not in, two, you know, in a week from now, I would ask him where it is. Because it is going to Lafayette, Tennessee. So, hopefully, it'll get there fairly quickly. And I won't have a problem. Uh, next, we have this Florida Capitol Police FDLE. Whatever that means. No idea. Uh, 629. This sold out on offer. 629. Uh, this Orange County Fire Authority, California Pipes and Drums. As you can see, I had it listed for nine ninety nine or best offer. Took a best offer of seven. This uh, pipes and drum stuff I've had for quite a while. Uh, it didn't turn out to be as great of uh, a lot as I thought it would be. Uh, so I still had best offer, and this also shows how old it is. I have best offer on these. Uh, a lot of these I was going to go through and take them down and relist them uh, because they've been sitting around long enough to hopefully refresh them. Maybe get a couple more sales out of them. Uh, next is this Brutech uh, 1240 Home Energy Monitor. Uh, best offer accepted. I don't even know what I took. $60, I think? Uh, I didn't write it down. But I had it listed for $69.99. When I had the other one, the first one of this that I had, that I had listed, I think, for 80 It was like 80 or 90 I took a best offer on that. That was closer to the, like, the 70 so I put it a little bit lower at this uh, seventy and took an offer. And I want to say I want to say it was like sixty dollars. So I listed the new one back in August. Uh, like that first one I had sold, I think it was in a couple of days. This one took a bit longer, which I kind of figured it would. Um, but I found this was a trash find. I found uh, two of these that were brand new, still in the package, like this. I found a third one that I'm pretty sure is new, just open box. And then I found a fourth one that is used. It still had the, you know, a little bit of little bits of wire sticking out of the end of it. Uh, so I list, uh, but like I said, this was a trash find. So I, this was all profit after fees and, uh, fees and shipping. And I made, where is it? I know it. 44.27 off this. So $43 from the trash. Uh, and the new opened box one I re just relisted after this. So we'll see how long that takes. 
to sell it. I want to say I put that one in like 40 uh, because I'm not entirely sure it is new. Just missing its actual packaging. So we'll see. It'll probably take a couple months like the other one did. Uh, next we have this little New York City EMS 499 on that one. Uh, next we have this Gilbert, Arizona. This one sold out on offer 594. Uh, this FDNY 911 in Memorial. I've gotten a bunch of different versions of this. This was old stock. This actually I think was the Lafayette one I think was in the same lot as this actually. That's the, that sold for six ninety nine. Uh these next two sold together. This uh New York City or this NYPD firearms instructor and then this Hudson, New York, both sold out on offer five oh nine, both to the same to the same buyer who bought this one for, accepted the offer on this one first. Sent me a message saying that he was gonna buy two, uh accepted it on this and bought it. In two separate transactions. Why he didn't just do it on one, I don't know. Uh Next, this is Rockford, Illinois. Fire, three ninety nine on that. Nothing on big on that. Uh, this Ozark, Alabama. This sold out on offer five thirty nine. You can see the top is like dirty. Uh, kind of the whole thing, but it's dirty. Uh, next, this is AMT nineteen ninety five Chevy. Uh, Coke pickup truck. Pretty cool little uh, model kit. Sold it for fourteen ninety nine plus ten dollars shipping. This was something I've had, as you can see, March 31st, 2022. I've had it listed for quite a while. Uh, and just recently, with uh, the U.S. Uh, the Postal Service discontinuing the regional rate A box, that's kind of when I took a relook at this, because that's what I was going to ship this in, because it fits just, it would fit just about perfect in that box. Uh, so I, when I went in to kind of change the shipping on it, I went in and relooked at the listings, because I noticed it hadn't, it hadn't, hasn't really had any action on it. So I ended up lowering the price. I think I had it listed at $19.99. I ended up dropping the price down to $14.99. The $10 shipping, I think I left it about the same. Uh, I'm pretty sure I actually, ended, I also did promoted listings on this as well. I, uh, and then it sold. Uh, I'll say, well, I want to say like in a week after I did those modifications to it. Uh, that this was not something I got out of the trash. I got this Walmart clearance. Uh, and in my custom SKU, I put 9 so I think I paid $9 for it. Uh, this wasn't that great. I only made like 3 bucks after it was all said and done. Uh, this was something that I grabbed that maybe uh, I'd give it to my brother. Or I figured it, if not, I could always sell it. And I uh, ended up just selling it. Uh, next is this lot of 4 PS, uh, PS4 games. Untested lot. Super hot VR. Plants vs. Zombies. Uh, awesome knots, and then this is a Star Wars game. This one that doesn't have the cover art, and it's twelve ninety nine plus six dollars shipping on that. These four games were something I got out of the trash, as well. I got them out of a dumpster. Uh, all said and done, I made ten twenty on this, and this sold. I listed it. It was like one thirty in the morning. It sold eight o'clock next morning. So probably could have got actually a little more out of it. Uh, I also did promoted listings on that one as well. Pretty much anything that's not a patch, I do promoted listings on. It's promoted listing on. Unless there's nothing else listed of it. Um, because otherwise, it it just doesn't really get any traction to it. Otherwise, it seems like. So I, I'll pay the dollar or two in promoted listing on the promoted listed fee. Uh, next is the Santa Barbara County Parks Department. I had two of them sold the first one, I think, like right, right away back when I listed it. Sold it for six ninety nine. Then right afterwards, I had this Pasadena in California, three ninety nine on that one. And this was an interesting one. I got a buyer, uh, buyer's note about this about how to uh, pack it so that the post or careless post workers won't damage it. I'm not really sure how you're gonna damage something that's already in crappy shape to begin with. Hopefully, he notices that it's not in good shape as it is. Uh, next is Texas Department of Health Licensed Paramedic. Five ninety nine on this. I had two of them. I think I sold the other one last week or two weeks ago. And then just got rid of the other one. Uh, next is this Accurite 5-in-1 Pro Weather Station Sensor. Uh, that's the model number. January 22nd. Oh yeah, sold this right away. Uh, this was when I was, I was on a kick of going through all the 
like my death pile of stuff that I found out of the trash and just to go through and get it listed uh finally going through getting all the pictures of it list you know getting it all listed going through that whole process so and this sold right away luckily for 34.99 plus 12 dollars shipping back when i first got this i thought this was going to be worth a lot more than this uh but 35 is still all right uh and the buyer sent me a message about this to making uh that he bought it because he had ordered another one and it arrived damaged this top part right here was broke and this bottom part was broke uh and it was a good thing he messaged me about that because when i looked took a look at how i kind of had packed this in the box it was not packed very well at all it probably would have arrived broken uh how i had it packed so i kind of took it out repacked it i put these top pieces in a ramen box i cut it in half put it together to kind of an extra layer of protection bubble, shoved it inside with bubble wrap I put two pieces of cardboard in between this, wrapped it with bubble wrap, and then I had some really thick cardboard corner pieces, like reinforcement pieces. Put that kind of as like a surrounding kind of encasing on the bottom of that, so it should be fine. Uh, and this is, and I charged a little bit under for shipping on this. If the height-wise would have been 9 inches, $12 would have been fine, but because it it's kind of bulged out a little bit, uh, it's like nine and a half inches, so I rounded it up to ten, and that bumped it up to about sixteen dollars shipping. So I could have charged a little more in shipping on that, and if I would have had the height cor correct. And then the last thing is this. Uh, last thing for this account is this Sagamon Sagamon County Sheriff in Illinois, seven ninety nine on that. Uh, that's it for this account. I'll go over these two inventory pickups real quick. This huge lot, I'm pretty sure I was talking about this huge lot, 125 total. I was the only one that bid on it, though. It had, like, 13 watchers on it, too. 345, and I'm still not entirely sure if it's, like, 125 variety plus all, of, and this is, like, this is literally everything I'm getting. 125 choices, and then whatever quantity there, that's in these photos, I'm really hoping that's what it is. Because uh, otherwise, if it's just 125 single one, I way over I overpaid for it so we'll see when that gets here what I actually end up buying I should have sent the message the seller a message about it uh, and I before I uh, bid but oh well and then there, here's this little lot of 65 random mixed fire police uh, rescue I ordered this because I need fire inventory so I'm hoping that's kind of more what it is I bought from this guy like three or four times already some of his lots he really overprices them and uh so i recognize a lot of the stuff in here is stuff i've already sold or have listings for like i said it's not gonna be the greatest thing but i just need some inventory uh next moving on to this account i didn't double check to see what's sold out on offer or not oh well uh we have this del norte county uh just the county patch 5.99 on that one uh, this Oregon Peace Officers Association Combat Pistols, seven ninety nine on that one. Uh, Worcester, Massachusetts Police, seven ninety nine on that one. Howard County, Maryland Department of Corrections, five ninety nine on that one. Also pretty slow in this account as well. Uh, California Department of Corrections, three ninety nine on that one. Oklahoma City uh, Police, God, I have so many of these useless things, three ninety nine on that, and that's all they're worth too. Uh, there's Jefferson Parish. Uh, Deputy Sheriff Patch, six ninety nine badge style. I have a c bunch of different Jefferson Parish uh, Sheriff versions that I all listed at once when I listed that one. Uh, next is the State of Hawaii Organization of Police Officers, seven ninety nine on that, and this is going to Hawaii. Uh, next is Lockhart, Texas Police, seven ninety nine on that. A lot of seven ninety nine ers. Onondaga County Sheriff Custody, seven ninety nine on that one. Uh, Chicago, this is one of the, like, damaged, stained kind of ones. Three ninety nine on that one. And next is this Mental Me County, Wisconsin Sheriff, seven ninety nine on that one. Uh, and then I was running auctions. Had some couple things I went put to auction that ended, like, uh, I don't know, within the last hour. It's Howard, Link, Howard County, Maryland, 911 Dispatch. I thought this would have went for way more listed at 790 started it at 799 
went, only went up to twelve eighty four plus four dollars shipping on this, and that was like right at the end too that this twelve eighty four happened. Uh, next is this ICE HSA SAC DC SRT uh, SWAT team. Well, SRT special response team. Nice thick hook and loop back on this or hook and Velcro back on this nine ninety nine. Only the one vid, four dollars shipping. But the problem is, is as you can see in the description, I don't have where this is. So I have no idea. I don't remember what lot this is in. So I'm going to have to go on a scavenger hunt trying to figure out where this is in my inventory of 1,300 plus patches. So this is great. I was doing a little bit of looking before this, before I did the video, and I just can't find it. It's not paid for at the moment, uh, but obviously I do need to find it. Uh, this one's paid for. This one's not. This one, and this one's not. And there's two that are paid for, two that are not, out of the four things that actually ended up selling at auction. Uh, next we have this Washington County, Maryland Sheriff, Fire Police, 1679 it went up to. This was listed at, this started at, what, 7? Oh, 9989. Uh, on that one. And then this Harvard, Massachusetts Police Fire, EMS 911 Dispatch. Only one bid, six ninety nine. This is also paid for, and will be sent out. Let's see, uh, because on this I don't have the custom skew activated when I do a uh, draft or when I do go to do the listing. I can't figure out. I don't remember how to actually get it activated again. Activated. I know I have it on the other one, and it's required. And I need it absolutely because if I forget, like on this one, I'm stuck going through envelope, going through. 50 envelopes trying to figure out where it is, which is the situation I'm in at the moment with this one. So, we'll uh, end the video off here so I can go look for this stupid thing. And I've it's been around for a while too, which is part of the problem. I went through like some of my, through the purchase history, looking at, uh, trying to look at the lots to see if I can determine which lot it is and if I can remember which lot it's in, what the custom secure for that is, where it is, whatever. I can do that. It also doesn't help either that I finally got a big file cabinet a big like what is it a five, like a five drawer that's up here now and i've moved mostly everything into that file cabinet and that on that and all in itself means completely reorganized uh so i'll hopefully know where everything is in that and i saw this other the original file cabinet i started with so, I'm pretty confident, though, it's not in this file cabinet that's in my room. It's in the other one, which is in the other bonus space up here, which I'm kind of turning into uh, my eBay space. Uh, maybe I'll take it in real life and kind of show you around that room real quick after that. So, actually, I will do that. So, we'll see you in real life real quick. All right, so in real life. Here's, uh, there's the stairs, and then this is the bonus room that's up here, and then you come through into my room so this was our playroom as kids now it's uh, it was kind of just been a junk junk room for uh, ever since we became like teenagers to now and now I've kind of gonna end up converting it into my eBay space a bit to take some of the relief off of in my room so I had I had this shelf that I put everything on after I got rid of, I think it was actually, as a matter of fact, that table that was over here that was had crap thrown on it once I got my shelf. But I also had so much stuff on the ground in front of the shelf here that it, um, just over here, it started becoming a little pathway. It was like an episode of Hoarders, and just your little pathway. But I have this file cabinet in here. Uh, and it's got some other, it's just got crap on top of it. This room is a bit of a disaster because I've been playing around it was kind of this weekend when I started doing all this in the eBay room up here. So there's the file cabinet that I'm talking about. Two, four, no, it's a sex drawer. Pretty deep sex drawer. And then I got more on top because I have so many patches. Brother found it in the trash. Found it uh, curbside, I want to say. That's where he found it. So it's worked great. I've pretty much filled it up with all sorts of envelopes. They're not, it's not uh, completely organized or anything. 
Uh, and they're kind of just, there's definitely, I can put more in here. This cabinet was also, this was also in my room. That was full of patches. That's now in here. The biggest thing is I did this other shelf. Went to Home Depot and got the exact same shelf as the other one. Uh, the other, that first one I got from, I see, we seen it at all these, and it was 60 bucks. This at Home Depot was 65, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's kind of got, I wanted it to put like my boxes on, some of like this packing stuff that was kind of in my closet, so now I have more room in my closet as well. And then this was meant to be for like unlisted inventory, which pretty much is what is out here. Like this stuff was stuff found in the, found in a dumpster as well. It needs to be tested at some point. Because if I don't really know how to test it, I'm kind of hoping my brother one day will get bored and decide to play with those. This, I don't quite know what I'm going to do with this. I guess sell it. It was our uncle's. Um, that I guess he didn't want anymore. And it made its way to our house. I guess I can always, that stuff can always be sold. Uh, and then, like I said, a couple of things. Still, that this is photographed, but. Uh, I have to figure out a way to ship it. I think I want to do another box on top of this box. I don't think I will ship it in that, but it's pretty long, so that's a little difficult to try and figure it out. This bin, this recycle bin did have my paper. It's now pretty much empty. Uh, and then this table's full of crap because I'm doing board sort, which is, that's for the scrapping side as well. I got to get that finished to be done with. And then this table will be folded up, and then I can always bring it out as I need it for photography. That I got my white background and one of my photographer photography lights. And as you can see, it's still a bit of a junk room as well. It's just, it's just got junk lying around in it. More junk, pile of junk. So this will, it's a bit of a work in progress. So that's it for this in real life part. We'll See you next week back on the computer screen with what's old.